Waves are vibrations that move through space and time. An important idea to remember is that waves primarily transmit energy, not matter. A sound wave, for example, if someone is talking to you, it's the energy that hits your ears. It's not the breath of the person who's talking that's hitting your ears. So waves primarily transmit energy, not matter. We can define a medium as the matter through which the energy of mechanical waves moves. In other words, mechanical waves require some physical medium in order to travel. Light is a wave that does not require a medium. Therefore, light is not a mechanical wave. In transverse waves, particles of the medium move perpendicular to the direction of wave travel. If we had a rope that was attached to the wall and we're holding the other end of the rope and shaking it up and down, the rope at any given instant might have a shape like what we see here. The top of that rope be considered the crest. The bottom is called the trough. This distance that I've shown here is the wavelength and we abbreviate the wavelength with the lowercase Greek L which is lambda. Wavelength could also be from crest to crest or from trough to adjacent trough. That distance right there is called the amplitude. That's the distance from equilibrium to a point of maximum displacement. Here are some pictures that have to do with transverse waves. In the upper left here we have this parachute and as we shake it up and down on the sides the waves pulse through the parachute. Each little bit of the parachute simply travels up or down but the wave disturbance travels say horizontally. In the upper right we have a slinky same thing. We are shaking the slinky back and forth so each little link of the slinky just goes back and forth while the wave disturbance travels along the slinky perpendicular to our shaking it. Down in the lower left if you have ever been a part of the wave at a spectator sport event you know that you stand up and sit down but the wave disturbance travels horizontally. So that's what we mean by a transverse wave where the medium goes up or down let's say and the disturbance travels horizontally. A longitudinal or compressional wave is one in which the particles of the medium move parallel to the direction of wave travel. Each particle experiences a jostling back and forth motion. In a longitudinal or compressional wave there are regions where the particles have a higher than normal density and there are regions that have a lower than normal density. The higher than normal density regions are called compression regions and the lower than normal density regions are called rarefactions. These rarefactions and compressions travel along with the wave disturbance. They don't stay fixed in one spot, they travel as the wave travels. Longitudinal waves also have wavelengths. Each particle travels in a jostling type of motion and the wave disturbance you can see travels parallel to that jostling motion unlike a transverse wave. Two more definitions. A pulse wave consists of a single vibration and a periodic wave consists of rhythmic repeated vibrations. You can think of if we've got a rope attached to the wall a pulse wave would be where we shake up and down the end of the rope once and a periodic wave we shake up and down the end of the rope repeatedly. And here are some pictures that relate to longitudinal waves. In the upper left you can see the pressure wave of this explosion where the air particles are closer together than average. This slinky is being 
pushed back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and the wave disturbance is traveling, say, to the right, and the jostling is forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. You can see right here on the right, that is a compression region, and in here we would have a rarefaction region. Or if someone is in a long line, and someone in the back of the line bumps hard into the person in front of him or her, then that disturbance travels down the line with each person bumping forward and then back. These are indicative of longitudinal waves. Waves are vibrations that propagate energy through space. Energy, not matter, is the principal thing that travels in any wave motion. Mechanical waves require a physical medium in order to travel. In a transverse wave, the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of wave travel. In a longitudinal wave, the particles vibrate parallel to the direction of wave travel.